중국 선생님입니다. 오늘은 배역했습니다. Now you might be wondering, is it really possible to learn Korean in one hour? The answer is yes. It is possible to learn how to read and write in Korean. However, speaking and listening it needs some time to develop, depending on how much you practice the language. Some people ask, why would I learn Korean? Well, because languages are beautiful and I want to discover how it works and how people communicate from different countries. Before learning any language, you need to start from the alphabet because you're not going anywhere without learning the alphabet first. The Korean language is spoken by Korean people. Hangul. The alphabet is written according to the actual sounds of the letters, which means anyone can learn to read and write in just few hours. Hangul was created in 1443 by the King Sejong the Great. Based on scientific principles, Hangul ranks as one of the most scientific and creative alphabets in the world. Hangul contains consonants and vowels. Let's start with the consonants. There are 14 basic consonants in the Korean alphabet. I know what you're thinking. Well, at first glance, you might think it's some kind of drawing. Circles, squares, shapes, and so on. However, once you learn how to read and write, very soon it will be familiar to you. And you will be happy if you're a language lover just like me. These consonants have names, just like the Arabic alphabet, for example. Elifon, be, on, te, on. In Korean, it's giuk, ni un, di un, li ul, mi un, etc. So we don't need to memorize these names. We just need to know the sounds of each consonant. All right, for the vowels, there are only 10 vowels in the Korean alphabet. And in the vowels can't be alone without the consonant in the shape of a circle. Imagine it this way, humans and oxygen. Vowels can't exist without the consonant ing. A, O, I, U, O, U. A, Ya, O, Yo. U, U, O, Yo, U, I. These are the vowels. And now let's try to write words in Korean using consonants and vowels that we've just learned. Let's write the word Adam choosing D and M from the consonants and A, U from the vowels. Grab a pencil and write with me. See, it's easy. Now let's write another name. Hajar. Ha. Ja. Ru. Hajar. This is your homework. Practice reading and writing in Korean. Also try to write these famous Korean brands in the Korean language. Good luck. I'm going to be listing some worksheets below in the description below to help you practice because practice makes better. Thank you for watching. See you soon.